Hey everyone, React Pack here. I'm Sam. I'm Rose. I'm Nikki. And this is Hinata. This is My Hero Academia. No, This IQ. is Haiku. <laughs> Episode 11. Cl Contact, I believe it's called. So last time we had the tournament start and we saw the beginning of what game? Did we say beginning of a game? Or? Yeah. yeah. I forgot the name of the team though. Yes. And then Kageyama finally got his flow. Yeah. Kageyama's looking for his flow. He's getting along there. And they got and there quick. Yeah, mm -hmm. and last time we, we had said we saw a little bit of the beginning of this episode by accident. Yeah. So we're going to get in and see the rest of it. Um, any expectations for this episode aside from the beginning? Um, the decimation and ho I hope's decimation of the other team. Yeah. I, I don't think decimation is going to happen at all in this tournament. You I don't think, think it's going to end think, today? No, no, no. I think every single team Will is going to be hard. Mm -hmm. no it's, I think they're all going to be close. I think this is going to be the closest match, though. Because of the fact they didn't get practice, but that's all. Oh, okay. And else is? I don't think this is going to be the closest match. Oh, you have any teams, or you just don't think this one's going to? I introduced this. We don't have as much emotional attachment to this team as we do to the other ones. That's true. So those are probably going to be way closer than this one. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else? No. All right, guys. Let's catch you in the discussion, but please remember, if you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And comment down below if you miss anything or if you've got some context to add to anything. We do read those and we enjoy them. And also, if you want to see the next week a whole week early, go ahead and check out the Patreon in the description. It's $5 a month to get every single show that you watch a week early. Catch you in the discussion. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, yes. Focus on the player, but you gotta stay alert. <laughs> Your personality sucks. <laughs> Yes, it's gelatin. gelatin. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, Kaguya? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was nice. very fast. <laughs> Oof! <laughs> You know, it looks like they get like Dragon Ball Z'd into yeah, the floor. Demolished. <laughs> yeah. And here they go. A classic move. Hit the ball really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, they touched it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh they still keep picking it up. Her oh. team is so good. We're in it now. Oh, he did a line shot. <laughs> oh, in a <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> Cause he can read. <laughs> Too far forward though. <laughs> nice job. Yes! <laughs> Saving it with his face! <laughs> was that good luck or really bad luck? <laughs> Why not both? Oh. They're finally picking it up now. Yay. Oh no, he meant to do that. Just not with his face. What? Oh, they did a... But he ties. Oh! He's picking it up still. <laughs> Uh, he's still. <laughs> his skill isn't fully there yet, but he's getting it. He's moving too far forward. <laughs> That's good though. That means he's too fast. Yeah. <laughs> he, did, he just remembered it in the middle. Lie. He's moved three blockers. Ooh. Oh, they touched it. Smashed it on the. <laughs> What's wrong? Because he said. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 
Yes. <laughs> yes. Use your hands. <laughs> He's really affected by them. Yeah. The same thing was happening in the last episode. Ooh, <laughs> minus tempo. <laughs> the pose. <laughs> I was just gonna say, cut your Immediately, <laughs> see? He did, exactly. <laughs> don't look, don't look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's not person time. They took a break. Now he has to serve. Mm. Mm. Can he still set? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no! Oh. What the heck? What was that? <laughs> Is he tired? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now they're like, 21, 23. <laughs> More nervous than all of them. <laughs> oh, but no. He's probably oh, no, but he's good. good. Yeah. I sh- oh. oh, my underhand serve. The heck? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all a part of the plan. Get it. This <laughs> is <laughs> brilliant. That's yeah. how Karasuda wins. You're kidding. <laughs> no, it's the first set. Let's just, just take that. Wait a minute. Oh, poor guy. He's gonna have my ears. He's gonna have my Nice. It goes over your head and you can't see. Oh, the light. Uh. You cannot pull it off. Gonna pull. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh, guys. <laughs> no. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Aww. They're really on a roll now. <laughs> and then there's just no more <laughs> The liberal Oh you got it okay. Oh <laughs> How rude <laughs> This is nationals. <laughs> you should have noticed that when you got on the bus. It took him uh, 30 points to realize. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I got bad news for you. <laughs> You're the side characters. <laughs> Weary Shiva! Weary! And they're definitely believing me. Immediately. Ooh. Nice, Tai Chi! What? <laughs> what? what? Very nice. nice. Everybody's like, it's too soon for school! That was cool. Match point. If, if one gets to 24, though, they go overtime, right? I think if, yeah, if they tie. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a rally! Rally! Oh, a rally! Who's gonna take it? Suga is on it! Costa! <laughs> 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 Come Oh, 
they came when they saw. So everybody on the team was inspired by old Karasuno. Hmm. He did a faint. Oh, he faints. Oh, oh, I don't know. Minus tempo. Boom. <laughs> we took it! Aww, oh, they lost. Aww. <laughs> but that was still close. 25 23 in both sets. Discussion. Discussion. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I was right. They did take them in this, in this episode. Huh, and it nice. was decimate. Well, not technically decimate. No, it was a re- it was close. That was yeah. one point from going overtime. Yeah. But uh, I'm I I, I I I can't believe I never looked it up. But I need to know how it works with the rounds. So you win two, mm-hmm. then you win the match. Yeah, because it's two. It's best two out of three. But if. Okay, so it's best two out of three. Because I was wondering from games back home where they did like four or five rounds. That was I think practicing. those were just practice rounds. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was wondering. Like, and hmm? yeah, and then there's like the chance that if, um, oh no, if one's if one if they're both say twenty three, and one hits twenty four, and then the other guy hits twenty four, mm-hmm. then when you get twenty five, it's not over Mm-mm. because then you go overtime. Yeah. And if you get another point, you win. But if they get twenty five too, you then gotta it keeps be two going. ahead. I think it's the twenty. The twenty. Yeah. But if the person is just one point behind, it keeps going like that. <clears throat> uh, maybe. It's, it's, that's just the thing. Every time I, I, I've been watching, I just feel like a little lost on when to expect the win, you know? Mm. So it throws me off a little bit. It's because it's been so long since we've seen the other seasons. Yeah. <clears throat> Where they taught us everything. Yeah, they did teach us I think it's, well, I mean, like four years or something like that. Yeah, maybe five years. For a while. Really? It's been a long time. Wow. Maybe not since the last season we saw. We saw that recently but the like first three were three a long ago. time ago yeah yeah um something else i just want to mention real quick i think i might have told you but i was asking before how, i was asking before how does scholarships work in japan for sports and stuff like that mm. but I, so one of the comments had pointed out it is like the united states where you can get drafted out of drafted out of high school mm-hmm. into college you get picked for a team and you can make a career out of it but it's only really for the very best because the scholarship program is much smaller in japan the teams mm-hmm. aren't as many <clears throat> so that's why we see them if, if you win the championships then you, you keep, keep studying but if you if you don't then you go to studying so it's, it's re- a really tough choice but mm. if you don't win the nationals you're probably not going to get even looked at is, right is the effect makes sense not even nationals if you don't win the Prefecture, so like that, you know. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then Hinata started to get noticed. Yes, that was my first note. Yeah. Nishi, noticed. Nishi noticed, and it was like he did that on purpose. purpose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and somebody else noticed. I forget who. Um, but yeah. So I, I, I was very happy. So they're mm-hmm. finally they're doing it in the tournament, which makes sense. Which is what we said was going to happen. Yeah. yeah. Notice. Because they wouldn't do it earlier. It's like yeah. okay, fine. It's going to be in the tournament, but it's it's actually not like. In a bad way, like he's 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 kind of failing a little bit, but he's not failing yeah. in the yeah. way that's ruining the team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like he's getting it. He's so failing like, successfully. He's failing successfully, right? <laughs> yeah, he he keeps saying he's going too far. Said in reaction, that means he's going too fast. Too mm-hmm. fast, which yeah. means he has a very high skill ceiling that he's still got to push. You if just, he can get there so fast that he hits it, lands in his face instead of his arms, mm-hmm. he's fast. Yeah, he just needs yeah. to control now, like fine tune it now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this is a nationals team that yeah. he's doing that. So and he's he's, he's calm enough to do it. So he's calm yeah. enough to still be reading and like, oh, it's gonna come here. Yeah, because mm. he's been here before. Well, not nationals, but no, but he's he's been in this kind of pressure. Yeah, yeah. Hagiyama's a second year, right? They're both the same They're first year. First year. Okay, okay. Because I was I was gonna say, Hinata being this good and being first year, would send waves mm. through the schools. Like this guy's not gonna only, be really good. Not only being first year, this is the first official t- volleyball team he's played with. Yeah, yeah he's the first with. team he's ever been on. Yeah. yeah. And he's made it to the Nationals. Yeah. It, he was practically one of the ones that carried them to the Nationals. Yeah. This, speaking of that, like, the whole noticing thing, mm-hmm. like, people are going to be noticing Kageyama. I think the next season, because I don't think this ends here, because no, they're, they're, they're probably going to... Yeah, they, they're already introducing the next round of people to come into the team, and our yeah. third years will, will have to say goodbye eventually. So Hinata will have a chance to show off soon, too. 
he's gonna be like the next Kageyama in a way because he is mm-hmm. like he is raw talent that just has not been gotten the yeah. chance to be developed like Kageyama yeah. yeah so when he is now in the middle of a tournament learning mm-hmm. how to do things and yeah. you know failing successfully <laughs> um, it's like imagine what he can do when he knows what he's doing yeah going to be exceptional um, it's the thing where like Kageyama he's technically and naturally genius yeah mm-hmm. And Hinata is just rying off, rying off, is lying off raw instinct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, exactly what you're saying. 100%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kageyama's been a, a prodigy since junior, since um, middle junior. school. Junior high. I was wondering just because I was, I was thinking how much time he's had to do this. Because mm-hmm. we know Hinata literally just picked this up this year. Yeah. Um, well, he's been doing it since. But he, yeah, he was playing with the he, girls, he's, but he's he never, never played, played officially. Well, yeah, yeah. but. I mean, that kind of got him used to the rules, so I wouldn't say that really honed him or anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, playing on a junior team, definitely way more than just playing around as, like, a mascot for a team. Yeah. Yeah, but, and, and just to jump around a little bit, um, not to be forgotten is the prowess of Suga. Like, Suga, Suga came on the... the, the White the, hair. Uh, right here, yeah, sorry. <laughs> he's, he's like sugar. Suga. Suga. I'm not yeah. gonna remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, I mean, he comes on the court and he's reading everything. He's like, okay, he's gonna be number yeah. one. Okay, it's gonna be this guy. Yeah. It just shows, like, he's very skilled. He, mm-hmm. He's kind of underplayed. Yeah. In literally underplayed. They don't really play him as much because the others are so good. What's, mm-hmm. that, what, what's his position? I have he, no idea. He is, um... Is he a setter? I don't think he is. He's a setter. He but, is a setter. That's but he swapped he... out... Uh, tall boy. Suki. Suki. Yeah, yeah you, Suki. It, you can, I think you can swap you can, out whatever. Yeah. yeah. They were, uh, and they would never say about like Kageyama. Well, yeah. yeah, that's true. I was wondering what spot he played, but if he, if he's that good, it makes sense he's a setter, then they just never swap out Kageyama. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but and yeah. The, he, Kageyama just kind of took over his role, but um, I, I was just so impressed, like, everything, like, he was reading everything, and just before the the last play, he, he was, like, saying they're probably going to do a dump or something, but dink. A dink, a dink, which is, isn't that kind of a dump? Or is I, it different? I don't know. I think a dump and a dink are the same thing. I, I kind of feel like that too. Yeah. But I don't know. They, they're I think a, a dump's the move and a dink's when it scores. Like, it's scoring like a dink. Yeah. Just because I feel like they said it in those in that order. In that kind of way. Yeah. But yeah, I was just impressed by him. I think a dink is when the spiker does it. And a dump is when uh, the setter does it. Oh. Position based. I'm okay. guessing. Okay. I mean, either or. Do you guys know? Let us yeah. Know. <laughs> and something the only thing I wrote down I wanted to say is this is the first episode that I've ever felt like I saw the speed of their click yeah oh yeah it was fast because usually yeah. you see it in slow motion yeah they say like, oh. slow motion I'm just like he's so fast <laughs> <laughs> you know and I get what they're doing and it gives me the impression of what's happening is impressive mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but I just I never and I, I never felt like I missed anything but mm-hmm. until now that I've seen it I want that yeah. Now that I've seen the quick animation of, yeah, I feel like if I was in that ring, I couldn't stop that. Is what it felt like. Yeah. Like it's realistic in that this guy's not superhuman, but it's so fast. You need to be a professional to stop it. Is what it felt like. Yeah. And that's the first time I actually feel like I've saw it. Yeah, and that it it makes sense now why everybody's like still looking at him while he, the ball is like passing them. Yeah, because the ball the ball Cause flying by yeah. was so fast. Like how did I not catch that? Yeah. Yeah. But um, I think that that really is an uh, animation problem. So I, I feel like there are better ways to animate it. I think the way they did it was good. Mm-hmm. But the reason they wouldn't do that all the time is Art. because... No, it's because it's you, you won't appreciate the play uh. as much. The reason you can appreciate it now is because you've seen it in slow motion. Yeah. They've I, taken the time to show you the setup and the moves and him going up in the air and the... Whoosh. But I think there are better ways of doing it. Like if they did... Uh, a quick ball to his hands and, and then maybe slow and then more slow there down. and then a quick whoosh, down. I think something like that would mm. be better. Yeah. And it would maybe. Just kind of be best of both worlds. Maybe. I, I, I'm just saying now that I've seen that, I feel like it may be not underwhelming, but it just won't be as impressive now that, that once I go back to seeing slow motion. Uh, Unless they show something interesting in the slow motion. Yeah, yeah. I think it, but, yeah. they they probably w- won't need to. They probably still will, but mm-hmm. I don't think they'll need to slow it down anymore because we know the quick. Mm-hmm. Unless they mm-hmm. like, do something different with it. Yeah. Yeah. And it was kind of the same with that volley. Like you, like we see them like going back and forth. Oh, you mean the, the rally? rally? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And 
like it you don't really get the weight because everything is usually in slow motion just to like let you see what's going on mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but then they did that rally in and it like was really quick oh al- almost full motion and it was it was like really intense yeah, it, yeah, it, it was it kept it the was. energy yeah 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 and i think that that's kind of what i'm talking about what they should do with the quick the way they mm-hmm. did the, the rally yeah, i'd like to see more rallies because it feels mm-hmm. like it's usually one team does a move and they get a point one team does a move and get a point which yeah. is fine but the rallies were intense and they were fun yeah, yeah. It, it felt like everybody has to play their part yeah in what the team's supposed to be instead of yeah. a move where three people playing their part everybody else guarding you know? yeah yeah true 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 anything else um, the high serve guy, forgot his name already, on the other team, um, using, full, using the full yeah, height the of the serve. ceiling. I had thought oh, about oh, that yeah. when I saw high ceilings. I'm like, ooh, you can get a big arch. But um, the way they used it was more clever because you can, lights, it's hard yeah. to see it with the lights. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think he even knew before he did yeah, it. Yeah, he just no. real, He was just like, the ceilings are, are on my side. Right. And, I, and I wonder if it wouldn't be as effective in a regular school dorm. Because this ceiling is way higher than yeah. a school dome. True. And they said it was near the ceiling. Yeah. But, and, I mean, it, it's funny because it's so simple, but it psychs you out. Mm-hmm. So I wonder if it's one of those things that works at first, but you do get used to kind of like what mm-hmm. happened there. But if it was to happen again, like a next game, it would psych them out a little bit again. Mm-hmm. Because they're so used to the fast. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I, I brought the comparison of baseball is we've got like the three outfielders who are super far away from each other. Mm-hmm. Any time it's between two of them. And they get really close. So you're supposed to call it out. But the reason you have to call it out and you have to make very aware where the other guy is is because it's really common where the guys get in their, each other's way. Yeah. So when everyone's packed like that, it's just way more common in this environment. So Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. It's a good move. And I'm still giggling at Wirishima. <laughs> oh, Wirishima. <laughs> Wirishima. <laughs> Kageyama. Yeah, Kageyama. It's like, you totally to blamed him. me for and, that. Yeah, 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 and he knows immediately he's so blaming me. <laughs> That's the first thing yeah. he thinks of, not we're going to lose. So I'm just being, I hate this guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And um, it's, it seems like they're, they were both getting tired because what um, Tsukushima said, um, that one was way higher than usual. Mm, so he just kind of slobbed it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but the thing is, you can't really replace Kagiyama, mm-hmm. so maybe replace the guy who he blamed. <laughs> well, yeah. it was it was his. He should have caught it. Yeah, and but. he had said before that he was. It's half. He, the first set went by, and he's like, "I'm already tired." Yeah, he was already beat. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, no, it was Suga that oh, said that Suga. for you. <laughs> right, 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 right. Was Suga not playing? No, no. Suga was behind him. Su- Sugi's mouth wasn't even moving. I was like, "Why is he oh, his mouth isn't moving okay. while you're hearing his voice?" It was Suga talking behind so him. So maybe Suga noticed. Maybe. Yeah, maybe that's he why he called. He's the one who called to switch oh, him out. Oh, call. I thought the coach did that. No, oh, the, the, coach, the coach did that. You can't just like... You can't be like, player. get out. I'm getting <laughs> in this. <laughs> I was wondering. I always thought that's what happened. It's no. like, my turn. So then Suki was probably trying to politely like nudge him to say something because Suki wouldn't say anything if he's tired. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Suga, Sugawara is the one who always notices people's... Um, their condition mm-hmm. and even when they were like really down that one time at the tournament he was the one that brought the mood back up by slapping everybody on their back <laughs> okay i do not remember that, <laughs> okay. remember that? it was really <laughs> funny it was a good scene now the other thing i have is um the first set was like a lucky win yeah like i, I i'm not sure i'm happy about that <laughs> but i guess it was just to kind of give the the other team a, a feeling like yeah we, we have a chance you know so they didn't feel yeah. like they were beat. Because if they were beat the first time, they might have been intimidated into the second round. Mm. I don't know. If he didn't hit that guy in the back of the head, they may have very well won that round. <laughs> because <laughs> he got three points off of them. Right, the yeah. The so if he round. had gotten a good one the first time, they would have definitely they been They probably wouldn't have been able to block it. Yeah, and yeah. then it would have been three sets. And then it would have been two episodes. <laughs> and then we would have been sad. <laughs> <laughs> this is the series of events. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely outlined for you. And the last thing I have is just um, they were all inspired by Karasuna's past. I think that's really cute. Like um, everybody who joined the, the everyone on the current team, yeah, the third except for the the new ones. I don't really know their story. Um, the third year from the third years down to Hinata, they're all inspired by Karasuna's history, and they're, that's the He's reason a they came. Giant guy. Yeah, they're like they saw them at the national saw them at the nationals, and now we want to play. And they, they come and they're, they're, they're 30 years at the time were like, we suck, guys. Sorry. <laughs> so so when those 30 years were first years, were they playing with the Little Giant? Um, no. They were, I don't think so. No. Um, so they, that's Coach Ukai's. Oh, yeah, so like a generation ago. Yeah. Not a whole generation, like the next, but yeah. Like the next 30 years, maybe, I saw. Probably. 
Because the coach isn't that old. I think he's like in his 30s or something. All right, so then the third. <laughs> okay, stop, <laughs> stop. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder where we'll see him or if we'll see him because he's a national player. So you can see him. It's just we've never been shown him. Yeah. I think that'll be like part of the season finale, maybe. Or the maybe. La- at least the last season. That he's not his dad all along. <laughs> That's what I keep thinking. It's like, what if it turns out that they're related and he didn't know? Because you never see his face. So I'm, not, I'm starting to wonder if he not has seen his face. I mean, I mean, in a lot of anime, they like to make a connection between like, great, greatness kind of follows a lineage almost. Mm-hmm. And there's very, it's very rare animes where someone literally trains themselves up and they were just some nothing. Yeah. Every single show that they're nobody and they become great, it turns out they're in some way related to something awesome. Yeah. Um, so maybe, but this is also a realistic one, so maybe no. But we'll see, I guess. Hmm. I think that's it, though. Yeah. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And remember, leave comments if we missed anything, got anything wrong, or maybe you just want to add some context to something. Hmm. And as always, please check our description for our Patreon if you want to see the next week a whole week early. So thank you guys for being here. Catch you guys next time in the React Pact. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Oh, bye.